y'all, Melissa here with you today, and today's project is this cup carrier. This is handy if you're going to be carrying multiple cups of coffee and you don't want to use a tray. These are reusable. And this is sized so that it fits several different cup sizes as well. So there is a free pattern for this and all the details to get it are linked below in the description. Go ahead and grab that and then I will meet you back at the camera to show you how to sew this up. After you've visited the website and gotten that free pattern, here's what you need to cut out. For the carrier sleeve, you need to cut two pieces on the fold so they will look like this when they are unfolded. On one of them, I've gone ahead and fused lightweight fusible interfacing to the wrong side. And then the, the strap is also cut on the fold and what I've done here is I have folded it in half matching the long edges, pressed that line in, and then fused a one inch long, piece, sorry, one inch wide, 18 inch long piece of interfacing to the ends here. And the strap is actually what we're going to sew first. I am going to fold it in half, right sides together, matching those long edges, and sew it with a half inch seam allowance on the sewing machine. And now I'm going to use a tube turner, which I've linked this tool below if you want one of your own, and I'm going to turn this strap right side out. Next I need to press this strap and then I'm going to set it aside. With the sleeve piece here, I am going to mark with pins an area on the top longer edge that is the width of the strap. So I'm going to put pins on either side there. And then I need to sew the top edge and the bottom edge together and I need to leave about an inch on each end that is unsewn. So, I'm going to take these pins out and then I'm going to turn this right side out. And this is wide enough that it's easier to do with my fingers than to use the tube turner. Okay, this is going to be pressed as well, so I'm going to go ahead and iron this and the strap and then I'll show you what they look like. Here is my pressed strap and here is my pressed sleeve piece. Now notice on the sleeve piece at the ends here, I went ahead and I pressed the raw edges as if I had sewn those seam allowances, even though they are open. So, and I also, the gap that I left here in the center for the strap, that is also open but pressed. So what I need to do now is I need to kind of make a butterfly. I'm going to fold it so that these two edges are together and take the other two edges out of the way. And then I need to stitch across that edge. Once I have that stitched, I can kind of open that seam, and press my folds back in, okay? And then I want to turn my whole thing around press my folds back in, and then I want to kind of mush all of this into the middle, we're making a burrito now, and get these two edges matched up. And then over at the machine, I need to stitch through those two layers. And here's that, and now, when I turn this right side out, you'll see I now have a round, magically round coffee sleeve, and I just have gaps in here, which is actually where I'm going to put the strap. So you'll notice one edge, if you press this out and lay it flat, there we go, one edge is longer than the other. This is the top edge, and that's where I have my gaps on both sides, I also have a gap on the bottom edge from where we turned this. 
So I want to stick my strap in here. We're gonna center it. And then exactly opposite, I should have the other gap I left in stitching and I'll stick the other side of my strap in there. And now I'm gonna top stitch all around the top and the bottom to close up those gaps, secure that strap, and finish this project. Y'all let me trim off all my extra threads. And here is my completed cup carrier. Check out this playlist for more gifts that you can sew, many of which also have free patterns and are quick and easy.